connected uh, were uh, my uh, idea <laughs> uh, a very long time ago. <laughs> 90s people, anyone? Just me? Okay, a couple. A couple. All right. Back in, um, back in high school, I had a very strange sense of humor. And eventually I wrote a lot of things down, and years later put them into a book, then forgot I wrote the book and found the book again years after that, and I'm going to take a look at it. And I actually have not read this in a very long time, so I, I, I'm going to be just as surprised as you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Emperor's Words of Wisdom. Not too arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. I started writing the words of wisdom in high school when during a lunch period, in an act of sheer boredom, I wrote words of wisdom number one on the back of a business reply card. Within minutes, I was being asked by numerous classmates if this advice for the day was going to become a daily ritual. By popular demand, and no, that is not an exaggeration, <laughs> I made it a habit to post one new quote each day, some written on napkins, some typed, <coughs> Number 27 was written along the edge of a drinking straw. Rather than apples. I'm not sure when, but at some point I started copying down the already posted works from my own personal archive. From my own personal archive. I didn't bother to number them until the round two. And these are some of the things that I would post on the lunchroom bulletin board for my classmates in uh, the early 90s to enjoy. Life's strange, you've got to keep up. <laughs> Never eat anything science can't identify. <laughs> Nitroglycerin shouldn't be used as hairspray. <laughs> Life is an aardvark. <laughs> That one got to be a running gag for a lot of my teen years, and I don't even remember. I don't even remember who came up with that. I think a friend of mine did, but I'm not sure. All the world needs is farfing nougat. <laughs> Might be a little bit dated. Some of you, some of the older folks remember. <laughs> it's the Volkswagen. They like to make up words. They also made up turbonium a few years after that, so they, they like making up words. Uh, if you read stuff like this, you must be crazy. <laughs> Toilet paper makes a poor bungee cord. <laughs> this isn't real. <laughs> Never stick your tongue in a mouse trap. Rat traps only. <laughs> Uh, some people get some people get cancer from ignoring my words of wisdom. And there's a footnote here that I wrote under it. Ignoring was later changed from taking down. <laughs> people were taking down the words. If your eye falls out, don't stick it in the pencil sharpener. <laughs> get a little bit more intellectual as time went on. <laughs> Before you eat your soup, see if it glows in the dark. <laughs> I'm really not sure what the inspiration was for that one. Never, <laughs> never shove rodents up your nose. <laughs> Don't want to know the inspiration for that one. It's extremely difficult to bowl at zero gravity. <laughs> so people actually tried to debate me on that one. Uh, basically, it was a problem with pin setting that uh, we weren't sure if we could get them stabilized, but we decided the ball would move. It just kind of pushed it forward. But there was a lot of discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bet your life on a word that rhymes with orange. That's what they always say. But I heard there actually are some words that are just not used for There, They are. I looked. Yeah. <laughs> you look, no, There's no. like two words. Oh, two words, yeah. <laughs> If you ask a genie to make money fall from the sky, make sure it's not in a safe. <laughs> Before you put your hat on, take the rabbit out first. Good advice for magicians. 
life is a joke and the new world order is the punchline. I was also kind of a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a little bit of that influence in here. Uh, if at first you don't succeed, appeal to a higher court. <laughs> Be careful not to upset the balance of the space-time continuum. That's the one that was written on a straw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, napkins are important because it's tough to write on straws. <laughs> and here's a note here. Words of Wisdom number 29 was a lengthy, rambling, incoherent essay for April Fool's Day. But the original copy was lost. Fragments were salvaged from memory and used in Junk Food for Thought, which is another book that I found out that I wrote years later. <laughs> it's on YouTube. <laughs> but the list of fragments would not have done justice to the original. So that's why it was omitted. <laughs> uh, toxic waste tastes like chicken. Mm. It's a good thing gravity doesn't reverse itself because our tax dollars would have to pay for a new road system. The dome upside down. Oh, here's one that's dated. The best known cure for insomnia is Al Gore. <laughs> <laughs> should try to steer clear from the top of the stuff. Uh, never tie your tongue to the back of a train unless you have insurance. <laughs> if a dog broke a mirror, he'd probably get one year of bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic explosives have, mil have millions of fun uses. <laughs> Don't worry if time freezes. It starts up again in five minutes. <laughs> oh, that's clever. Yeah, so, some of you think, some of you, uh, think about that one for a little bit. <laughs> uh, let's see. If you see an animal eat a grenade, get your video camera. It's worth 10 grand on Funniest Home Videos. Another kind of taking reference. Let's see. Chlorofluorocarbons are destroying the ozone, but what's more important is how to spell it. <laughs> 90s. <laughs> but it couldn't go five minutes without somebody mentioning the whole the ozone layer. And, we, and then I guess we all got bored with it. Oh. Let's see. Reality is cheese whiz. Ooh. I, I don't get it. But cheese was a running gag for a while there. The ozone layer was fun while it lasted. <laughs> yeah, early 90s. My first attempt at a final words of wisdom was a lengthy compilation of the previous of the previous entries on one page. Unfortunately, because of scheduling error, the words were never posted, so I just gave the page to some guy with a vanilla ice haircut, honestly. <laughs> Round two, gradually I started reposting old words of wisdom and eventually a new line of words on bulletin boards, whiteboards, blackboards, or just scotch tape to walls in random locations, as well as my old standby catchphrase, nothing is real. Despite the fact that the second round of words of wisdom ran more than twice as long as the first, it was much less well received and I eventually decided to call it quits. <coughs> the wisdom does not die, it just goes into a coma. <laughs> Remember when you're eating, be sure to avoid swallowing any dynamite. I notice now that a lot of these have to do with food and explosives. I'm noticing that now. There are more things on heaven and earth than 11. I'm not really sure what to make of this one. A watched pot never boils unless you're in it. Mm -hmm. 
spontaneous combustion can be hazardous to your health. The psychotic psychic can throw daggers of the mind. Imagine that. Never jump out the window of the 13th floor, it's bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your pizza the wrong way, top down. See, there was a series of commercials saying, eat, it, eat your pizza the wrong way, crust first. You remember. <laughs> so, a little pop culture reference, again, a bit dated. Never forget to turn off your eye lasers. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be. They're words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Beware of the marmoset. The world is comparable to a turnip. It's there. <laughs> now, here's another one. We need to start putting Farfrey Nugent into some of the American cars. It's just, that, that, that word was everywhere for a while. <laughs> Uh, even earthworms can have political opinions. Of course, we'll ignore them. Antimatter is not just for breakfast anymore. Again, keeping with the theme of food and explosives. <laughs> I, I don't know why those two things fascinated me so much. For every Friday the 13th, there is one Sunday the 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Fishing is easier in the desert. The fish are dumber. <laughs> they must be. They got lost. Let's see. The universe is not held together by gravity. It's held together by staples. Hey, people today would have said duct tape. I think duct tape would be funnier, but oh well. Hindsight 2020. Reality. Why bother? It's kind of risky to open a convenience store at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Anarchy's no fun when the government won't leave. <laughs> <laughs> I actually remember writing this one. Uh, this was during the uh, uh, first time I heard about a government shutdown and nothing changed, and so that was my response to that. It's anarchy, but the government won't leave. <laughs> Part of the universe. Things in the universe are matter. Cheese is matter. The earth is cheese. What? <laughs> if nothing is real, a real's not a, a real's not real, and a knot is not a knot, and a knot in a real is not real. Oh. <laughs> There are so many questions in the universe which must go unanswered, such as, is anyone reading this? <laughs> no. Never glue your face to a gopher. It's impossible to explain. <laughs> Never trust a guy who can turn into a two-headed lizard. Same thing, food and explosives, you know, so. <laughs> the answer to the greatest question in the universe is C. You didn't know it was multiple choice, did you? <laughs> I thought it was in Spanish. I thought it was 42. Wear a dynamite vest just in case. Mm, let's talk about it. <laughs> I was ahead of my time. Right? Yeah. Once 
once the cast is bowed and the audience, once the cast is bowed to the audience and the curtain has gone down and you were the last one in the theater, now would be a good time to go. <laughs> Uh, that last one wasn't posted on any public bulletin board. It was placed at home. Uh, that was actually supposed to be the last one, but then I ended up writing a whole lot more. So that's why <laughs> I, I recycled a few of the words to a local newspaper under the title Gadfly's Words of Wisdom. The novelty was short-lived. When my first book, Junk Food for Thought and Other Words of Wisdom, was published in 2001, it included most of the previous words because they were... Uh, because they were distributed throughout the book out of their original sequence to accommodate chapter topics, some of the words were never listed. Uh, in chapter 10 minus 2, Trick the Trickster, I asked if any numbers were missing. Later in the same chapter, I posed the question, what do the following numbers have in common? 12, 18, 22, etc., etc. Uh, the, answer, uh, the answer that I gave is that they are... Oh, excuse me. Uh, the answer is that they were the missing numbers. Uh, and they were excluded simply because I wouldn't, uh, couldn't work them into the book out of their context on that particular day or because I just didn't care for that particular set. This book, however, is all-inclusive. Unfortunately, I made a slight error in the book. Uh, I, don't know if I don't have that other book with me. Why should I even describe it? <laughs> just uh, some type, correcting some typos in a previous book, which are irrelevant. During the pre-production of my book in 2001, I decided to revitalize my words of wisdom on my newly designed website under the title Emperor's Daily Words of Wisdom. It has since become the longest running source of wisdom. The book became available for sale later that year. I did not remember that. <laughs> I'm learning about myself. So all the ones that follow were posted online. The World Wide Web has worldwide spiders which come in handy when your computer catches a bug. <laughs> in Australia, pineapple upside down cake should simply be called pineapple cake. <laughs> the moon of Pluto is very cold and, is, and it is highly recommended that you do not put your lips on it. <laughs> the last words many people hear are, look out for that, never mind. <laughs> if I had an ear in the middle of my forehead, it would be much easier to hear people asking why there's an ear in the middle of my forehead. Needless to say, <laughs> I can fly but only in a downward direction. <laughs> Everyone knows that vampires don't have reflections because they are supernatural, but no one seems to know why their clothes don't have reflections. What happens if they take their clothes off? Do the clothes still cast no reflection? Like, what if they change their clothes? Somebody needs to figure this out. Never do an Irish jig in a minefield. <laughs> if it kills you, don't do it again. God uses miracle whip. <laughs> Keep your wooden clocks dry to prevent time bumps. <laughs> Most stores will sell aluminum siding, but you have to go to a special store for aluminum fronting or backing. <laughs> if a toaster oven could talk, it would probably ask why it could talk even though it was a toaster oven. When in doubt, build a barricade. Cows are the only animals that have their own brand of bell. <laughs> the world is full of invisible objects that only your cat can see. I think that might actually be true. 
I order you to disobey this order. were on your head, you'd have to choose between walking upside down or balancing on your ankles. <laughs> I store my empty space in a space station. <laughs> I'm rather sleepy. Probably wasn't much thought put into that one. <laughs> you don't want to see the words turbocharged on a suppository. <laughs> Had to be an ass joke in there somewhere. <laughs> Bottle caps are a way of losing a game that you didn't know you were playing. <laughs> you ever get one of those, like, sorry, try again? And just like, it's like, yeah, I, I didn't even know I was playing a game and I lost. We stopped thinking 6,000 years ago. We've just been guessing since then. It's probably true. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man should know better than to sell lamps for a living. <laughs> a common element of most key rings is the one that doesn't seem to go to anything. The telephone gives us the power to make bells ring in the home of any person, which I think is a little too much power. I think therefore I am. I'm usually not. <laughs> it's fun to watch stuff melt. That, that's just true. I suggest letting slip the cats of war. They're sneakier. Intelligence isn't everything, and if you think it is, you're stupid. Location is important to small businesses. That's why I opened a baby's shoe store next to a casino. Because baby needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> some some are a little bit uh, more complicated than others. I left my driver in the golf cart and it left without me. Oh. What a lot of puns, too. <laughs> Food, explosives, and puns, I'm noticing. That would tell the next book. Food, explosives, and puns. Straws suck. <laughs> Never bet on the seven horse at the dog track. Hmm. Sooner or later, it always gets to be later instead of sooner. In a world of three billion people, someone who's one in a million still has 3,000 people just like him. It's actually like seven billion, isn't it? Carpenter ants have something in common with airplane parts. They're both made of matter. I think this one might have been posted on Easter. Prepare for a giant rabbit to come to your home, hide your multicolored hard-boiled eggs, and leave a basket of chocolate. It's a religious holiday. <laughs> Lungfish, spelled backwards, is hisipgnol. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Cuber, right? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what it was. <laughs> Just this thing with a weird nose that bounces around. I picture a parallel universe where catnip is illegal and cats buy marijuana for their pet humans. I knew it was a bad idea to introduce King Midas to Medusa. I 
think of myself as God's gadget to win. <laughs> Trees are just hardened dirt. I'm not sure if I agree with that one. They're actually hardened air. Yeah, hardened air. Laughter is the best medicine, according to most HMOs. <laughs> There's really no such thing as retro styles. Trendy people are just 20 years behind the time. catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar, but you can catch the most flies of all with bullshit. <laughs> and the rest are just divided into sections based on when the book came out, when the website was upgraded. So. Let's just find something to close on here. All's well that ends. <laughs> <laughs>